Snorkeling out in front of the Andaz Resort in Maui, Hawaii. In October 2016, I visited the Andaz and practiced some of my underwater GoPro videography. Now, I'm not Jacques Cousteau, but I wanted to show you what the sea life looks like out in front of this resort. As you can see here, there's a bunch of these sturgeon fish, and there's a lot of sea life in this water. It's really cool to be out in the reef out in front of the hotel. It's called Mokopu Beach Park, and it's basically at the south side of the Andaz Hotel. And it is a really neat reef. I think one of the best places that I've been snorkeling so close to land. In this video, I'll do my best to narrate what you're seeing, but some of the times I might just leave it for us to listen to some music and enjoy the beautiful sea life. This is what the reef looks like if you're standing out at the beach in front of the Andaz. It's a rocky outcropping, and if you go under the water, you can see the reef starts to begin right there. There were some people that I saw out in the sandy areas there is no beach life in the sandy areas. Make it out to the reef, and actually when you go out to the reef, the best part for snorkeling is the part that's right at the point of the reef. So that's the furthest part out, maybe a five or 10 minute swim, depending upon how fast you swim, and probably the best side of the reef to see the most fish, um, and also sea turtles and um, moray eels and lots of cool things is the side south of the Andaz. You can see here in one of the open areas, lots of colorful fish. It's funny, I came out of the water from snorkeling and I heard people say, oh, there's no fish down there, it was a bad day to snorkel. Actually, that was the same day I caught this video and saw tons and tons of fish here. It's an amazing variety of sea life. Here's uh, some more sturgeon fish again, eating some of the algae off this rocky outcropping. In addition to the fish underwater, it's neat just to look at some of the rocks that are here and to see the waves and the kind of air and the turbulence around the rocks. One of the things I will say is because some of the rocks are tall and some of the rocks aren't, there's shallow sections and deep sections, there can be fairly strong currents around the rocks, so be careful when you're around them. Thumbs up though for safety. Also, if you'd like to uh, know more about the snorkel mask that I'm wearing in this, it's called the Triboard Easy Breath, and I've got a separate video review of that snorkel mask. The link's down in the description below. This is off in one of the deeper sections, kind of where the reef meets the sandy bottom. You can notice here's a big school of really big fishes. Again, Jacques Cousteau, I am not. And here is another, oh, that's not a fish. That's someone snorkeling and they were snorkeling on a boogie board to help themselves with buoyancy. The day I was out, there were lots of these black sturgeon fish. They're really cool, easy to see, particularly on a GoPro camera, because they travel around in big packs of fish. Here's another big open area again. Lots of colorful fish out in this big open area. Another thing I just want to comment on while you're out here, there are a lot of sea urchins and spiky things on the bottom, so make sure when you're out snorkeling that you keep your feet and your flippers up above the water and not below. Here were some of these really long fish. These ones are kind of deep, uh, but in the next scene I show you one from a little closer up angle. Here's one of those long fishes from a little closer by. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and maybe check out my video review on the Triboard Snorkel Mask. It's really neat. If you're in Maui in the Wailea Resorts, definitely check out the snorkeling out in front of the Andas.